come from Poland, exactly from Ochotnica. It's a small town in the mountains and it's just a beautiful, relaxing place. Every time when I just want to unwind and steal my thoughts and kind of run away from a cycling world, I go back there. And yeah, it's a magical place for me because I was raised there. I have a lot of friends and family there. So coming back home always feels good. And of course, there's a time that I feel like, okay, now it's time to move again, but home is always home. And normally during the season, I live in Girona. It's a super cute town close to Barcelona. And I highly recommend to everyone to go there to visit this town because it has this magic spark that makes you want to live forever there. And you are just simply happy, you know, without trying or forcing yourself. You can just live a happy life and do your stuff and just be yeah, purely happy. And that's all what matters, right? <laughs> yeah. Especially now, Catalonia is kind of going crazy they they want to leave Spain so they are really showing their strength which is amazing like making our um, different huge parades through the streets like everyone is dressed in orange and yellow colors walking with the flags or flags painted on their cheeks it's super like cool to be person who can like uh, experience that to see that in a person and yeah just to be among those people i feel like i was taught to ride my bicycle by my brother and he was trying to keep my back straight like trying to stable my position on the bike and just on one point he stopped so of course i crashed immediately and I was like fully covered with the tears but he was fully covered with the laughter tears because he was just having a fun of me so yeah I remember that was my very first ride my first first race um night before this race my dad came to the house with a little bike claiming that tomorrow you're gonna start with me so I was like, okay, whatever. I always like to be active, so I easily agreed to do that. And it was like a really small race close to my town. So I was competing with the girls and boys. So I was like, okay, I want to beat you all. Like I was kind of confident, even without knowing how to ride my bicycle properly. So I feel like thanks to this confidence, I could smashed it because I won it so I was like yeah I like it <laughs> cheering you and yeah and also like seeing that they are super proud of me makes me wanna like do it more and then I feel like I can grab their energy and put it inside my body and then I'm like so excited and just thrilled that way that I can win a bike race and uh, it's a constant learning process I would say it's you can never like have enough knowledge because all the time you get some advices or lessons, especially the best lesson is when you lose a race, believe me. When the moment when you are like so disappointed and you are just like cracked and then you have a lot of time to think over what have you done wrong or what could you improve. So yeah, all the time learning. I've never ever raced in California. So I feel like approaching this race I've got a lot of unknowns because I have no idea how my body is gonna react on racing on altitude because I've never done that and yeah everyone is saying me like racing in US it's so nice because roads are big but I don't know if it's good or bad because then it also can be pretty hectic and nervous so yeah I feel like every sort of music I can listen to maybe except of like really heavy metal or like rock which really makes me feel like oh, I'm gonna explode right now but I really like a deep house electric music even pop or yeah I'm a sweet person so once I get to uh, for example whole food store I want to like grab this 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 and then I can leave you US like with a uh, five kilos more <laughs>